Greetings, friends, and welcome to our midweek service of praise and prayer for December 16th, 2020. My name is Mary Kelly, and it's my privilege to join you today along with our musician friends, Andrew Van Berg on organ and Suyun Park on violin. Central Park Church is a Christ-centered community of love and faith reaching out to all. And we're so glad that you've joined us for worship today. Due to a spike in COVID-19 case numbers in Erie County, Central Park Church has moved its services to 100% online. For those of you worshiping at home, I want you to do three things in response. Number one, pray for us, our congregation, its members, and its constituents, but most especially for those whom we serve in the refugee and recovery communities. Number two, visit our website at centralparkcomplex.com and donate using PayPal online, or you can mail your gifts directly to the church at 216 Beard Avenue, Buffalo, New York, 14214. Your generous contributions will help us to continue our work here in the city of Buffalo and beyond. And finally, tell your friends about our weekly services and invite them to worship with us too. You can share these services on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel, Central Park UMC. We'd love to strengthen our outreach as together we grow in love and understanding of Jesus Christ. We begin our time together today with our opening words from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 24. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Do not quench the spirit. Do not despise the words of prophets, but test everything. Hold fast to what is good. Abstain from every form of evil. May the God of peace himself sanctify you entirely. May your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do this. Chapter 1, 
verses 26 through 38 and 46 through 55. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. And now, your relative Elizabeth in her old age has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her who was said to be barren. For nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your will. Then the angel departed from her. And Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever.
from the wonderful theologian Henry Nguyen come these words of prayer. Lord Jesus, Master of both the light and the darkness, send your Holy Spirit upon our preparations for Christmas. We who have so much to do and seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. We who are anxious over so many things look forward to your coming among us. We who are blessed in so many ways long for the complete joy of your kingdom. We whose hearts are heavy seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking light. To you we say, come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Will you join me now in the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples to pray? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. And now, to the God who is able to strengthen you according to my gospel and the proclamation of Jesus Christ, according to the revelation of the mystery that was kept secret for long ages, but is now disclosed, and through the prophetic writings is made known to all the Gentiles, according to the command of the eternal God, to bring about the obedience of faith to the only wise God through Jesus Christ, to whom be the glory forever. Amen. 